Hey everybody, it's Matt with Max Videos, and uh, I just finished up the last of Omamari Himari, uh, the manga, so figured I'd go ahead and do the review while it's fresh on my head. Um, Omamari Himari, I'm just going to call it O-H, O, it's going to be O. Um, o is a... 12 part, well, technically 13 part, but the main story is within 12. Uh, it's a 12 part series. Um, it ran for seven years. And uh, there's uh, the cover of the final one. Yeah, you can probably tell what this series is about by this cover. Anyway, uh, the series follows uh, the main character Yuto Amakawa who is the heir to the demon slayer family that possesses the light fairy which is the ability to imbue magical power into any object and make it into a weapon like I could take this remote and it could become a weapon yes Anywho, um, and in the first volume, you meet Yuto, you meet his childhood best friend, the Rinko, and on their way to school one day, uh, a beautiful young woman falls in the sky, and uh, she knows Yuto somehow. He doesn't remember her in any fashion. And Rinko gets jealous. It becomes a funny moment. Yada yada. Anyway. Uh, later on that day. Um, Yuto's male best friend. Taizo. Uh, becomes possessed by an Ayakashi. Which is a demon. And. The beautiful woman shows up again. And beats the demon out of him literally beats the demon out of him and then kills the demon um later on that night uh yuto's in bed and she shows up in his bed somehow i don't know but uh she reveals that she is also an ayakashi uh a cat a half yeah uh, a cat demon uh, and her name is himari and she is his guardian because when he was younger, his father, who was the heir to the family at that time, decided he did not want to be a demon slayer and took his wife and his son away from the grandparents, who was, uh, the grandpa was the head of the demon slayer family, and took him, and uh, the grandma gave him a magic towel, uh, Yuto, a magic talisman to protect him from demons. It was so powerful, though, that it wiped his memory. Unfortunate. But, um, and so, uh, Henry was, uh, her, her family of demons is, uh, servants to the Amakawas. And, uh, ever since a long time ago, one of the Amakawas spared their life, they have devout servitude to them. So, Himari is Yuto's guardian, his sword and shield. And, well, uh, so, she begins to live with him, much to Rinko's displeasure. Well, throughout the series, you know, you meet a bunch of different other Ayakashis, and one of them is Shizuku. I never know if I pronounce that right. Most of this Japanese, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But anyway, she is a water demon. She is a snake. But uh, she, you know, uses the body of a Lolita, which is, if you don't know what that is, it's a younger body to make it not sound creepy um 
Uh, she tries to kill Yuto because she hates all demon slayers, but she eventually finds him interesting, and then she moves in with him. And then you meet... Uh, Liz, I think, was the next one that you meet. Yeah, I think it's Liz. And she is a spirit. I don't remember the actual term they used. It was some long Japanese word. But it's an item that was imbued with a spirit and can take a humanoid body. She's a teacup that has a body. She's indestructible because of this. Unless you destroy her teacup, she can't die. So, she's a fun character. Um, she runs a tea shop. You know, makes sense, right? Tea, tea cup, tea spirit, whatever. And... Uh, she tries to take out Yuto because she thinks he's trying to destroy her teacup. Um, also, Himmer at this point is working in her tea shop. It's a big to-do. Um, but then Liz realizes that Yuto doesn't want to harm her, that he wants to live in peace with the demons instead of fighting them. Um, so then she falls in love with him too. Why not? Let's just get the whole gang in. Um, next up, we meet uh, the one I know I'm not pronouncing right. It's, I think, Keisu? K-E-U... SU. I don't know. But um she is another demon slayer that is betrothed to Yuto, to Yuto from his childhood. And she is a powerful witch. She, you know, uses that western magic. Um and you no, know, she gets added to the mix too. Why not? And throughout the series, you meet a bunch of other ones, a vampire, a cyclops, a giant. Um, they're all, well, the cyclops is a crossdresser. They're pretty much all women. I mean, this is, all in all, a harem anime, which that sounds a lot worse than it is. It's, it's not that perverted. It has a good story to back itself up with, which I can look past any flaws if it has a good enough story that being said it did have an anime adapted to it and the anime kind of follows it at the end it kind of but that's because it was being the anime was being done while the manga was being written and as we know from naruto it had to make a whole nother shippuden thing and full metal alchemist it had to make brotherhood but um so it it lends itself to have some problems um overall they do they kind of cut any inappropriateness out of uh the anime you know yes it's still a group of girls all fall in love with one guy and they all live with him and it's you know crazy times <clears throat> but it they keep it you know pg which is good cuz you know it's a fun story you know and it's a good, it's a good kid story, really, if you cut out the, um, you know, adult themes. But, all in all, really good. I enjoyed it. Um, you can find each volume for, they range anywhere from 9 to $10 on Amazon. There is a, um, uh, volume zero, which I'm currently reading, but it's like side stories and whatnot, so I didn't feel like it was necessary for the review. But, uh, anyway, also with the anime, as a way to review it, uh, fun art style, um, the, uh, volume zero actually goes into detail about the art style. It's, it's a cutesy little art style. The, uh, music, the opening and closing, very peppy, you know, yeah, 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 you know, cheerful stuff. Um, not, it, and that matches this anime perfectly. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And, um, finally, uh, and I never did mention, uh, the writer of this is Milan Matra, which I never figured out if it was a woman or a man. I think it's a man, not a hundred percent, but, um, 
But yeah, that's uh, the review for Om Omomori Himaru. Fun name. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you uh, want to see more anime reviews, I, you know, that's kind of one of my main things. I do other things as well, but I really enjoy anime. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button to see more. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later, guys.